Before we proceed, there are a few caveats that I want to utilize in order to not falsely predicate any misinterpretation. The study that we're about to review is a reference to NATO, NATO, which is added in vitro, so it's not tested in a living organism as of yet. However, though, think of this as a pilot research study in which NATO may hold great promise until trials are done in living organisms as such humans, we cannot draw the same assumptions based upon this incredibly, incredible study in regard to NATO in vitro. So with that in mind, let us bring our attention straight to the bar chart closest to me. That yellow arrow I did not add, that is actually part of the research publication itself. And yes, you're seeing no detectable SARS COV-2 plaque in reference to exposure to non-heat treated NATO. All right, so keep this one particular chart in mind. That is the outcome of the study in vitro. And once again, I'm going to caveat it. It is not to imply that dietary natto will yield the same effect. There's no evidence at this point in time, one way or the other, until studies are conducted. So let us proceed as follows. Traditional Japanese food may hold building blocks of COVID-19 treatments out of Tokyo University of Agriculture and Technology. Natto, not natto, natto, a fermented soybean dish often served for breakfast in Japan. Originated at the turn of the last millennium, so a while ago, but may hold an answer to a modern problem, COVID-19, according to a new study based on cell cultures, henceforth in vitro, vivo, living organisms, vitro, in a cell culture. Long thought to contribute to longer, healthier lives across Japan. The country with the longest life expectancy on Earth and home to more than a quarter of the world's population aged 65 years or older, Nato was previously found to be a diet staple in those who were least likely. I love the wording because the wording is actually worded as a scientist would say it. They're not trying to draw a causative argument. They're trying to basically strengthen the emphasis on correlation. We're least likely to die from stroke or cardiac disease. Now researchers have found that the extract made from the sticky, strong smelling natto may inhibit the ability of the virus that causes COVID-19 to infect cells, emphasize the word may. Quote, traditionally, Japanese people have assumed that natto is beneficial for their health. Quoting, please forgive me if I mispronounce, but I want to pronounce the name at least once or give it a shot. Uh, and if I said it incorrectly, please correct me. I mean no disrespect. Tetsuo Mitsutani, Director of the Center for, Disease, uh, Center for Infectious Disease Epidemiology and Prevention Research at the Tokyo University of Agriculture and Technology. Quote, in recent years, recent studies have revealed scientific evidence for this belief. In this study, quoting, we investigated NATO's antiviral effects on SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19 and bovine herpes virus 1, not the cause, but they did the research on both. BHV-1, which causes respiratory disease in cattle. Natto, for those not familiar, is made by fermenting soybeans with Bacillus subtilis, a bacteria found in plant and in soil. The researcher prepared two natto extracts from the food, one with heat and one without. This is important. This delineation of distinction between the two uh, really yields you an outcome of whether you achieve those results that we saw earlier were not. They applied the extracts to two sets of lab cultured cells from cattle and from humans. One set was infected with SARS-CoV-2, while the other set was infected with BHV-1, the bovine one. When treated with the natto extract, hang on one second, I'm gonna go straight to uh, one of the, basically the uh, graphic from the actual full study itself, which I'll have the links for at the end too. When treated with natto extract made without heat, without heat, both SARS-CoV-2 and BHV-1 lost the ability to infect cells. However, the caveat, neither 
virus appear to be affected by the heat treated natto extract. That's why when looking at that graphic there, you see that black bar all the way up there and the plaques which are forming. And then when you look at the natto, not treated with heat, there's the benefit yielded. The hypothesis. We found what appears to be a protease or proteases, proteins that metabolize other proteins in the natto extract, which directly digests the receptor binding domain on the spike protein in SARS-CoV-2. Uh, Mitsutani said, noting that the protease appears, emphasize appears, to break down in heat, losing the ability to digest proteins and letting the virus remain infectious. The spike protein sits on the virus surface and binds to a receptor on the host cells. With an inactive spike protein, i.e. potentially from the NATO, SARS-CoV-2 cannot infect healthy cells. The researchers found a similar effect on BHV1. This is a highlight, and this is important. Quote, because the researchers, when they looked at this, let me just uh, go off a side note here. The researchers, when they looked at this, uh, they wanted to basically delve into potential other avenues of treatment. For the main reason being is if there's mutations in, which we have seen obviously, in SARS-CoV-2, whether it be Delta, you know, whatever it comes down to be, Alpha, or even the original form, which I don't think you can even find anymore except in some areas of Africa, uh, that basically they wanted to look at something that holds the potential to basically uh, mitigate the impact of these future mutations as time moves forward. So keep that in mind as we read this. And this is also the beauty, provided this study is replicated and eventually carried out into living organisms as well as humans, it holds an incredible promise for potentially uh, mitigating, I should say, some of the effects of a mutating strain and henceforth the pandemic event. But to proceed without being too wordy, I just wanted to caveat that real fast. Quote, we also confirmed that the natto extract has the same digestive effects on the receptor binding domain proteins of the SARS-CoV-2 mutated strains, such as the alpha variant. To end, while the results are promising, Mizutani uh, said, quote, he also cautioned that further studies are needed to identify the exact uh, mechanisms at work, molecular mechanisms at work. So keep that in mind as well. They see it happening. They see the outcome. So they know the result, at least in, the, in reference to a cell culture. But now they're curious to say, well, this is how we think it worked. Now let's validate one way or the other. So that's what they're trying to do. He also stressed that the research does not provide any evidence. I want to ad lib here a little bit. One way or another a reduced viral infection simply by eating natto. Once the components are identified and their functions verified, the researchers plan to advance their work to clinical studies in animal models. So this is a really, really cool, uh, we'll utilize it since it's in cell cultures, uh, a pilot study. But it leads to a mounting level of, let's say, circumstantial evidence or correlations a reference to other dietary factors such as green tea, hesperidin, quercetin, potentially from lychee berry, uh, the beneficial positive microbiome, uh, microbiome effects of the fermented food, as well as now, you add to that natto. And so when you look at that and you look at how the pandemic may have impacted other areas, the varying degrees, some worse than others, from an epidemiological standpoint, and I'd love to have an epidemiologist chime, on, chime in on this, there may be some sort of uh, hinting, and I word my, parse my words carefully, in reference to dietary, I don't want to use the word preventions, but dietary measures that help at least mitigate the risk of a bad outcome in reference to the particular pandemic of the day. And who knows, with other things in the future as well, these are things to remember because these foods seem to be very, very, uh, how would you say, positive in reinforcing our, the integrity of our immune systems themselves. So 
beautiful, beautiful study. Gratitude. Gratitude to the researchers themselves, uh, which was the, without them, obviously, wouldn't be able to report this to you. And of course, for you, thank you for watching. I look forward to see you all once again in the next seven days. Links will be there for you to follow on your own. And enjoy. Catch you all next time. See you then. Bye.